Previously on Bar Talk and Cocktails. Cocktail book for the recently diseased. Deceased, Aaron. According to this, if you say a dead bartender's name three times, he'll appear. Bartender Bruce. Bartender Bruce. Bartender Bruce. Oh my gosh. Let's get out of here. It's showtime! What the heck is this? Cocktail book for the recently diseased. Oh my god. There's a Beetlejuice cocktail here. And not bad. I mean, it's a little melony. Let's make a Beetlejuice cocktail my way. And we're gonna give it a stir. Yeah, baby. And we're gonna strain this over top. Wow. Wow. This is really good. Bartender Bruce. <laughs> My name is Beetlejuice, and I've been working bar in hell for an eternity. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this spectacular Halloween edition of Bar Talk and Cocktails. We've got a lot of ground to uncover. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's good, Beetle. <laughs> you know, long before any explorer set foot on the shores of the New World, the ancient Mayans invented a wonderful, delicious, mysterious, medicinal food called, uh, <laughs> Beetle drink? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Chocolate. Long before Willy Wonka came around, it was known by native cultures as the food of the gods. Let me tell you why. You see, chocolate can act as a powerful aphrodisiac that awakens the love hormones. Wow, wow! In the body such as serotonin and dopamine. In Mayan society, everyone rich and poor alike enjoyed a frothy, rich, and delightfully bitter beverage made from the sacred seed, cacao. This was true chocolate, used in its purest form to achieve otherworldly states of happiness and connection. What I'm talking about here is a 1,000-year-old hot chocolate sandworm recipe I dug up from the grave. Hell, you know, <laughs> I got nothing else to do waiting around to exercise a living. You know, this is great for the cooler months or when you're dead like me. Say it once, say it twice. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Just say my name three times. Ah, let's make this thing. I'm gonna make you something special here today. Um, I am the bio-exorcist, and, and, and we need to exorcise this uh, thing called the sandworm. Because uh, nobody likes a sandworm. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, this is, a, this is something I created called the, the, uh, the chocolate sandworm. We're gonna start with some organic, uh, Cacao, raw cacao. We want two tablespoons in a mixing bowl, followed by uh, some uh, 
a cinnamon here, um, ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, ground nutmeg, and uh, <laughs> you want to be real careful with this one, oh, red chili peppers, they got a little bit of heat. We want a, a quarter a scant teaspoon of uh, red hot chili peppers. If you don't know what a scant is, uh, it's a, a little less than the, uh, the measurement that you're using. You know, we're using a quarter te teaspoon here, so we're using just a, a, just a little less, a scant less. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to add a little bit of milk And uh, what we're going to do is make a, a little paste from this milk and the spices. <laughs> yeah. That's a good looking paste. Yeah, check it out. Okay. Now we want some fire. We're gonna add a, a cup of milk to our pot. You don't wanna bring this to a boil. Just warm up the milk. Now you know, for uh, you vegans out there, you could use uh, almond milk, oat milk. Um, I'm just using cow's milk. <laughs> Come on down! I think we're hot enough. Uh, I think we're hot enough. Now, uh, where's my uh, spoon? Right here, my spatula. See, I got a spatula city. <laughs> For all your spatula needs. And we're gonna put our paste in the uh, milk here. Well, we'll put paste in the milk here get all that goodness out of here. I think those Mayans were onto something when they uh, created this. It's like a thousand year old recipe. Okay. And we want to just uh, mix all this in. I think I'll use my my whisk here. You want to bring it almost to a boil here. We're almost there. And you want to wait until it uh, thickens a little bit. I think we're in. I think we're in. Okay, oh, I've got this uh, little coffee glass here. We're just going to pour this right in, right into our glass, this hot mix. And uh, we're going to add some alcohol here. I got Gosling's uh, Bermuda Black Rum. We're going to use an ounce and a half. And uh, Cointreau. Let's go with uh, at least a half an ounce, maybe three quarter ounce. Yeah. Almost forgot the most important ingredient. Well, it's not the most important, but this is a really bitter drink right now. Um, I've got a tablespoon of honey. Oh yeah. And that's going to sweeten it up. Sweeten it up like uh, my sweet on Lydia. Oh yeah. <laughs> ah! So you just want to stir this uh, until you dissolve all that honey. Top it with some uh, fresh whipped cream. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice, nice. You can even stir that up. 
stir it in there a bit. This will this will keep you busy if you ever find yourself in the waiting room for the next hundred years. That's <laughs> looking mighty fine. Yeah, looking good. Now, I got this uh, big ass uh, cinnamon stick here. Uh, it's kind of big for the drink. Let's cut it. Pop her in her drink. And uh, what we're gonna do here is uh, light it on fire. Well, I guess I shouldn't have put that in my drink right away. That looks pretty good, actually. Looks like a sandworm on fire. Ha! Huh. Best thing that could happen to a sandworm, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, look at that smoke, yeah. That's a fine looking uh, chocolate sandworm. <laughs> let's, let's try it out here. Oh, that's hot. It's smoking hot. Oh, spicy. Oh, that's delicious. That's really delicious. Ah, and the essence of the uh, cinnamon just comes through. It's creamy. It's spicy. You get the cinnamon. You get the, uh, the nutmeg. You get the chili peppers. The uh, red chilies, and you get chocolate. Wow, <laughs> it's a good aphrodisiac. The cinnamon stick uh, split apart, kind of like a sandworm opening its mouth, <laughs> revealing uh, another sandworm. What the hell? That's a damn fine drink. Stop. This isn't going to work. the Mayans, they couldn't predict the end of the world if an asteroid came down and, and slapped them in the face. Hey! Hey, what's this? What's, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, 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 hey! Oh, hey! You know, this could be a good look for me. <laughs> Having trouble with the living? You want to get rid of those uh, pesty critters once and for all? Well, come on down here. Um, Hit the subscribe button, check the other videos out, the Halloween videos out, and make a chocolate sandworm. You know, I don't know what I gotta do to get your business. You know, I'll even possess myself if I have to. Ow! 